Plunging into the ocean is awful. Landing on a runway is really nice, affirmed the CEO of Sierra Space before the public. Yes, and in reality, this statement is absolutely true. Who wouldn't want the return journey from space to feel like sitting on a plane that lands gently? And that seems to be on the verge of becoming a reality, as Dream Chaser, Sierra Space's most precious gem after over a decade of development and overcoming many events causing delays, is finally taking a significant step towards the first launch of its life. The space plane is back. All will be revealed in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Dream Chaser is a leap forward in space technology, heralded as the world's sole commercial runway-capable space plane. Supported by a substantial contract from NASA to resupply the International Space Station, after decades of planning, technical expertise, and meticulous testing, its first test article has now officially been completed, signaling a significant step towards realizing the vision of Sierra Space, the company directly responsible for manufacturing this Dream Space vehicle. The venerable Dream Chaser has taken a step closer to its highly anticipated maiden flight, which is planned for April next year, a moment long awaited by space enthusiasts. For the first time on May 31st, the company announced that it had powered up the space plane in its assembly facility, feeding electrical power into the vehicle that in space would be generated by its solar panels and turning on flight computers and other components. This is a milestone that points to the future and is a key moment in a long journey for Dream Chaser, said Tom Weiss, chief executive of Sierra Space, in a statement about the test. The test will come as the company prepares to ship the first Dream Chaser, called Tenacity, to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, the former Plumbrook station, in the coming weeks. The agency will conduct the vehicle test over a period ranging from one to three months. During this time, engineers will test the space plane's ability to withstand the vibrations and acoustics of a rocket launch, as well as the temperature extremes it'll experience during flight. The space plane will be placed inside a giant thermal vacuum chamber before shipping to Cape Canaveral for final launch preparations. Sierra Space did not disclose a schedule for those milestones. Speaking during a panel at the 38th Space Symposium in April, Jenna Cavandi, president of Sierra Space, said Dream Chaser would ship to the test facility in the July timeframe. She said the vehicle would be tested there for a few months before shipping to Florida. We should be ready to go by the end of this year, she said of launch plans for Dream Chaser. At its Colorado headquarters, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft designed to enter orbit is taking on an outward appearance. Its folding wings and fuselage are covered with custom tiles to shield the spacecraft's composite structure from the scorching heat of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. It has a landing section, and technicians will go around the vehicle to complete the finishing stages before it departs the factory. Inside the spacecraft, workers are installing the final pipes for the environmental control system, which will help maintain a pressurized environment inside the Dream Chaser for astronauts at the ISS. Dream Chaser's current role is, at least for now, transporting cargo to and from the research complex orbiting Earth about 385 kilometers away. It will launch atop a conventional rocket, maneuver in space like a satellite, and then land on a runway. Facing the production floor, Sierra Space has set up a mission control room where engineers will monitor and command the spacecraft while it's in orbit. At the end of the hallway, there's a mock-up model for astronauts to train on how to board the Dream Chaser, as well as pack and unpack cargo when it docks at the station. Hundreds of workers took a short time pause to receive congratulations from the leaders at Sierra Space. Dream Chaser is that revolutionary product. What do you say to a group of people who've actually done all the work, who've put in the hours, who've put in the blood, sweat, and tears to make something like this happen other than just say, thank you. You guys have done an outstanding job. We're almost done with everything, Angie Wise, Sierra Space's chief safety officer, said. We're finishing all the closeout panels. We're essentially getting it ready for shipping. We checked out the landing gear. We're going to put everything back in, stow it, and then move it on to transport fixture and get it out of here. NASA engineers are reviewing Sierra Space data products, and government and contractor teams are performing joint tests to ensure it's safe for Dream Chaser to approach the space station, home to seven people. Why said Sierra Space is in Phase 3 of NASA's three-part safety review process. Undeniably, Dream Chaser is a neat spacecraft, and its story is quite remarkable. It embodies a vision of the future of space travel, drawing inspirations from the dawn of the space age and combining elements of rockets and airplanes. Therefore, Dream Chaser tenacity boasts distinctive features unlike any traditional spacecraft. Its compact size, measuring 30 feet or 9 meters in length, emphasizes a commitment to efficiency without compromising functionality. 
The incorporation of folding wings further enhances its adaptability, allowing Dream Chaser to be stowed inside a 5-meter payload fairing during launch. This feature not only reduces ascent loads, but also protects against debris, making the space plane significantly more flexible and versatile. The space plane boasts a lifting body design demonstrated during a successful test flight over the California desert, enabling autonomous deployment of landing gear and precise touchdown on runways, an embodiment of the space plane's adaptability. Adding to Dream Chaser's capability is the introduction of the Shooting Star Cargo Module, a testament to Sierra Space's commitment to efficient cargo transport. This flexible 15-ton module serves as an attachment to the Dream Chaser space plane, enhancing its cargo carrying capacity and expanding its utility for various mission profiles. With the help of Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to lower orbits, underscoring its versatility and contribution to future space logistics. Furthermore, Dream Chaser tenacity features a state-of-the-art heat shield, representing a significant leap forward from the space shuttle program. Sierra space engineers have employed modern manufacturing techniques to enhance this strength and reduce the cost of thousands of thermal protection system tiles. These tiles, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, are not only larger, but also stronger and lighter than their shuttle counterparts. The use of innovative materials and manufacturing methods aim to improve reliability and ease of refurbishment, addressing challenges encountered during the shuttle era. This commitment to technological advancement in the heat shield of Sierra Space ensures safe entry, descent, and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions aboard Dream Chaser Tenacity. The commercial spaceflight industry may not be too focused on space planes as companies race to design fully reusable rockets, but space planes do have the advantage of a smooth landing on their way back down to Earth. In terms of those exact advantages, space planes offer safety, efficiency, operational flexibility, and potential for future commercial opportunities. For its debut flight, Tenacity will ride atop ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket. The space plane is scheduled for the rocket's second mission, although Vulcan is yet to fly for the first time due to several delays. The space plane is tentatively slated for an April launch, but that still depends on the rocket's first test flight. The Dream Chaser team will be watching closely as United Launch Alliance launches its first Vulcan rocket, a mission now slated for December. In the future, Sierra Space also wants to launch Crew Dragon Dream Chaser missions to its space station, as opposed to the Orbital Reef Space Station, which it's designing in collaboration with Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, a relationship that appears to be in doubt. In summary, if everything unfolds smoothly as planned and Dream Chaser succeeds, it will be a significant milestone. The space industry envisions a potentially transformative impact on space transportation. The success of Dream Chaser could mark the revival of regular space plane missions, a concept not witnessed since the space shuttle ceased operations in 2011. Furthermore, Dream Chaser's success may foster collaboration and partnership within the industry. As Sierra's space demonstrates the viability of its spacecraft, other entities may seek to leverage similar technologies, promoting innovation and competition. In turn, this could lead to a more dynamic and robust space industry ecosystem, driving advancements in exploration and space transportation. A bright future awaits this dream spacecraft. Where will it go? Let's wait and see together. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.